I wish you could have seen it, my Rose. The gloomy <gasps> swallowed the village clock and turned it into a monstrous creature. A Dracrono. It was truly amazing. Distract him. What? I'm coming! <laughs> Disgusting! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! What we need right now is something that has horns like a rhinoceros, that's strong like an elephant, and solid like a rock. <laughs> Perfect. It's an elephantoceroc. I really am going to be sick. No! You should go. He's too dangerous. I don't want him to hurt you. Thanks for your help, but I'll try something else. Uh, I'm not really sure we have the time to do that. Time. That's just it. We need time. So, are you ready to do a little time traveling, Fox? Time traveling? Why? Right now, we're forcing it to rewind itself. If we can manage to travel back in time far enough, we can prevent the Gloomies from turning into a Dracrono. What'll it do to us? Because this time traveling business just doesn't agree with me. We're not from this planet. It won't have any effect on us. <laughs> That's the first time I've experienced being spit back out. <clears throat> <clears throat> it worked. We came back a few seconds before the Gloomies arrived. This is a job for Terracatus! Charge! Hold on. <clears throat> this time I've got a plan. A plan? What's a plan? <clears throat> Or does this feel like a bad case of deja vu? The clock's mechanisms are very fragile. You only need to remove one part and the whole thing stops working. It was easy.
I promise I will find you. This planet's going to explode. Uh. Oh, how sad. Seems I got here just a little too late. Then again, you must admit that on this planet, being on time is no easy task. Wouldn't you agree? What do you want, Snake? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Me? I want to help you as always. That is my only desire, my friend. To help others. No, that's a lie. You spread misery and suffering wherever you go. And yet you expect me to believe that you want to help me? What did I say? You judge me unfairly, my boy. Let me tell you a little story I think you'll enjoy. There was once a great timekeeper, an old man who lived all alone in a high tower. Every second of his life was devoted to the maintenance of his many clocks. Day after day, he exhausted himself, adjusting the hands and winding the gears. Oh no, again? But you're supposed to be younger and stronger than me, my friend. Oh dear me, I just can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted. Poor old timekeeper. Your job was so much easier back when you were a young man, wasn't it? If only you could get some rest. Have a little fun for a chain. It's true, but I can't stop. I have no one to replace me. <coughs> no one. What you need to do is travel back in time to when you were a child. Then you could finally relax. Free yourself from all these responsibilities. Be carefree once again. Surely you remember how happy you were back then. But you couldn't do such a thing, could you? No, you can't just turn back time. I couldn't do that. The equilibrium of the planet would be disrupted. Without me, it would explode. <coughs> as exhausted as I am, it's just far too dangerous. You're right. It would be too dangerous. And yet... And yet... So easy. So easy. Thanks to me, the great timekeeper can finally relax. In fact, he's so happy with his new situation that he's chirping with pleasure. Tell me where Fox is. Don't worry about him. It's not like he's alone. He's with a friend. His good friend, Caracatus. Oh. Wait, what's that strange odor I smell? Hmm, I didn't think you were capable. No, that's not jealousy, is it? You couldn't possibly be jealous. That's enough! Stop trying to put thoughts in my head! I didn't put anything in your head. The thought was already in there, little prince. Let's just say I merely unearthed it for you. The truth is, you can't stand the idea of Fox being friends with anyone else. I know the very thought of it makes you sick, but I have the solution to your problem. Forget all about Fox and let me take you back home. To your beloved planet and your rose. She has not forgotten you. She is waiting for you. How lonely she feels. My rose, mm. you are so beautiful. I'm coming. Mm. No, I refuse to leave without Fox. But who says Fox doesn't want to stay here in the Timekeeper's Tower, playing games and having fun with his new friend, Caracatus? Right, the tower! Of course, I should hmm. be able to spot the tower even from a great distance. No, no one has ever seen it. Even if you were to climb the highest peak on this planet, it couldn't be seen. Then I'll climb even higher than the highest peak on this planet. Perfect. Wait! But where are you going? I'm going to the Great Timekeepers. Thanks a lot for your help. Here we go!
Max, on my way. All right, I'm done playing games. Let us go, or else Caracatus is going to get very angry. Oh, yeah, they're terrified now. I'm sorry, you were saying? I was just saying that you scared them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me what really happened here? But I suppose you can't just turn back time, can you? No, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't do that. The equilibrium of the planet would be disrupted. Without me, it will explode. <coughs> oh, as exhausted as I am, it's just far too dangerous. You're right. It would be too dangerous and yet so easy. And yet, so easy, so easy, so easy. Oh, what have I done? It's getting worse. I have to find them before it's too late. <gasps> Thanks for your help. I promise I'll bring back the great timekeeper so he can take care of you. <laughs> Will you give it a rest? I don't want to play, got it? It's nap time now. So, Fox, you finally found somebody to play with, huh? Little Prince. Oh, you couldn't imagine how much I've missed you. Between that nut and this enormous baby, it's been a nightmare. Forgive me, my friend. I haven't been paying enough attention to you lately. <laughs> yeah, but you did tame me, right? Yes, and you'll always be precious to me, Fox. I will never let you down. Well, isn't that cute? Now that you two have reconciled, how about we go back and look for the great timekeeper? But he's already found us. What? Uh, it can't be him. The timekeeper is not a baby. He's the oldest man on the planet. Not anymore. Just look at the hands on his clock. They're turning backwards. It's true. That means if we fix it, he'll become the old man again. And I will have saved the planet. I see, and I suppose we won't have helped with that at all. There isn't much time left. The planet isn't going to hold together much longer. We have to fix all the clocks and fast. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. Don't be afraid. I am the little prince. And you? You were the great timekeeper. Do you remember that? Yeah. Good idea, little buddy. You keep distracting him. Or maybe you could ask him to let us go. Do you hear your planet? It needs you now. This is your clock. No! Come back! No! Thank you. You're welcome. But I'm only doing my duty as a hero. Just for the record, I did save you first. I did not need saving. <laughs> Give me that clock right now. <laughs> All right, give it to me. No! <laughs> <laughs> 
Quick! Mm. Go get the great timekeeper's tools from his bench over there! Uh, quick question. What's the point? Hmm? He might be a baby today, Fox, but yesterday he was a great timekeeper. And he's taken care of this planet for centuries. He can't have forgotten everything. <gasps> it's in him. He's the great timekeeper. Mm. Have you lost your mind? You were suffocating under your responsibilities, all alone in your tower, constantly adjusting and repairing all of those clocks. And now at last you are free to have fun, so take advantage of it. But that's what he's doing. For him, this is child's play. <laughs> Such ingratitude. They're all the same. You make their dreams come true, and this is how they thank you. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't bear this any longer. Great timekeeper. I'm very happy to see that you're back. But we must act fast. Your planet's in danger and needs your help. I know, my friend. But it's an enormous task. I will need help. Karakidus the Great, hero and savior of planets at your service. <sighs> ah, here it's the chain that deviated. So typical. What else we got? Ah, and this clock is only 20 minutes late. Ah, that was too easy. That's very impressive. In fact, he reminds me of me when I was his age. What? A loose cylinder? Don't you have something more difficult for me? Seriously? <laughs> Sorry, friend. That was the last one. <laughs> to think that until today, I had never taken time to admire this magnificent spectacle. You know, one day I watched the sunset 44 times, and each one was more beautiful than the last. This soft light warms my old bones. It feels wonderful. You have worked so hard your whole life, and you deserve the chance to rest now. But what would become of the planet and the teeny timers? If I'm gone, who will look after them and my creations? There must be a teeny timer who dreams of becoming a great timekeeper. Maybe closer than you think. Nobody is irreplaceable. <laughs> now this furball is a very special little clock, you know, made entirely of bon ambient ore. <laughs> it's superb and extremely rare. Trust me, I'm a specialist. <laughs> Isn't that fascinating? And that is how, my Rose, life on the planet of time returned to normal, and its wounds healed. I must leave you now, as Fox is setting up the checkerboard, and we have a few games to catch up on. Our journey continues, but I hope to see you soon. Until then, try to be happy. Until then, my little prince, I hope you write me soon. Very soon. Already? I didn't notice the time passing. Good night, my beautiful star. <laughs> <laughs>